This is the final part of attachment. We're going to look at the influence of early attachment on childhood and adult relationships. So within this section, we're looking at the influence of early attachment on childhood relationships, the influence of early attachment on adult relationships, and we're going to also talk about the role of the internal working model. We'll start with the internal working model. So Borby suggested that a child's early attachment will influence their future relationships. This is because an infant forms a special monotropic bond with their primary caregiver, which provides them with an internal working model. This internal working model informs an infant how to behave around other people and how to form attachments with them. This is known as the continuity hypothesis. So this aspect of the internal working model links back to Bowlby's monotropic theory or theory of monotropy, which we covered earlier. So let's have a look how early attachment influences relationships in childhood. Myron Wilson and Smith assessed attachment type and bullying involvement using standard questionnaires in 196 children aged 7 to 11 from London. They found that secure children were very unlikely to be involved in bullying, insecure avoidant children were most likely to be victims and insecure resistant children were most likely to be bullies. So it suggests that securely attached children have better peer relationships because they're not likely to bully individuals and they're not likely to be bullied, suggesting that they have strong friendship groups. So this suggests that the attachment type that you have as an infant can affect your childhood relationships. Now let's have a look how early attachment can affect adult relationships. For this, we've got Hazan and Shaver's love quiz as our research support. They placed a love quiz in the Rocky Mountain News. The quiz asked questions about attachment to identify current and childhood attachment types. The questionnaire also asked questions about attitudes towards love and assessment of the internal working model. They analysed 620 responses, 205 from men and 415 from women. They found a positive correlation between attachment type and love experiences. They found that securely attached adults were less likely to be divorced when compared to insecurely attached adults. So this research suggests that if you have a secure attachment, you are more likely to have better relationships as an adult. Whereas if you have an insecure attachment, you are less likely to have these good relationships because you're more likely to be divorced compared to an individual who has a secure attachment. In evaluation, strength there's research to support the link between attachment and later relationships, so Hazan and Shaver's study. Also, we have another study which we mentioned earlier when we looked at the theory of monotropy, um, Bailey et al. So that was looking at the mothers and their attachment type and comparing that to their attachment type that they had with their own parents and the attachment that they have with their children and their child has with them. In Bailey's study, they found a link between mother-baby attachment and the mother's own childhood attachment. So this Bailey study supports this idea of the internal working model affecting our attachment types because the mothers would have gained their internal working model from their own parents and they would use this internal working model to interact with their own children and this would therefore impact the attachment type of their own child. So both of these pieces of research support this idea that there's a link between attachment and later relationships. A limitation, much of the research relies on self-reports. 
So this relies on honesty and accurate perception of the participants. And in addition, the data is collected retrospectively. So the findings of the research may lack validity. So you've got problems, methodological problems, with regards to the way that the research is collected. Another limitation, a lot of the data collected is correlational. So if something is correlational, you, it, you can't establish a causal relationship because there's that lack of control there over the variables. And it's really hard to establish that relationship between early attachment and peer relationships or later relationships, childhood relationships, because the data is just correlational. Other factors could have affected the attachment type that haven't been considered, um, such as temperament. So, for example, if an infant has an easy temperament when they're born, then the parent will respond to them in a more positive way than a baby who has a difficult temperament. And this could affect infant attachment and the quality of their relationship. So they, with regards to temperament, they would say that you have um, an easygoing baby or you might have a difficult baby. And if you have an easygoing baby, then they smile a lot and laugh a lot because they have that kind of temperament. And because they're, they're easy, then they're more likely to form attachments with caregivers because caregivers want to be around that child and therefore people are more attracted to that child to care for it, to look after it and to want to be friends with that individual. Whereas if you have a baby who is difficult and maybe cries quite a lot, was quite grumpy most of the time, then a caregiver wouldn't want to form an attachment with them and people wouldn't want to be friends with that child. So that's the temperament theory. And it could be that temperament also affects relationships, but the research doesn't focus on that or consider that um, because the research is purely correlational. So for um, the influence of early attachment on childhood and adult relationships, make sure you're aware of what the internal working model is, what it does, maybe Bailey's research to support the role of that internal working model and then make sure you can separate it into how it affects childhood relationships and with this one we're referring to bullying behavior and adult relationships and therefore we're linking that to like secure adults are less likely to de be divorced than insecure adults and make sure you're aware of those evaluation points. So with regards to attachment, I'm sorry this one's been so long and it's in so many parts, but there's a lot of advanced information for this section. Make sure you're aware of each of the bullet points. Make sure you know what all the key words mean. Make sure you know the procedures of all of the key studies. Make sure you've got like some research method style evaluation of the studies alongside um, the other key evaluation points as well because research methods could come up in this section also. Um, there's quite a lot of data involved in this section as well, especially with regards to the strange situation. Maybe have a little look at how to represent data or interpret data. It might be that you might get a table, you might have to draw graphs. Um, that topic would lend itself quite well to that. So just make sure you've got some research methods revision going on alongside this attachment section. And there's quite a lot of content in this attachment section. So just make sure you're aware of like all the key terms, all of the key studies and have a go at quite a few practice exam questions in this area. So exam questions with an item, research method style exam questions and some extended answer exam questions because an extended answer question could link um, explanations of attachment with the influence of attachment on childhood and adult relationships because you've got a crossover there between mon monotropic theory and the role of the internal working model and you've got a crossover with some of the evaluative studies as well and so it could be that they add stuff into the advanced information because you might need it to evaluate in a longer answer question 
um, or there could be lots of short mark questions in this topic area. Not really sure, but just make sure you do your research methods, <laughs> sorry, alongside this um, and make sure you're aware of all of those studies and all of those key terms.